Doesn't it seem like pretty much anything we do comes with a price tag attached to it, like we're always having to pay for something? Well, this video is my version of giving that idea one of these. I'm gonna share with you all of the tools you need to be a content creator that will not cost you any money. And we're starting right now. As a content creator, the very first thing you are going to need is something to edit your videos with. For that, there are two very popular options that pretty much everybody's using. The first one of two that I'm gonna tell you about is called DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve is so good that they use it in Hollywood. It can help you color your videos, it can isolate your voice when you have a lot of background noise. Pretty much anything you need to do, you can do it inside of DaVinci Resolve. However, unless you have a modern computer, DaVinci Resolve can have a pretty heavy load on your computer. But if you do wanna see what's possible with DaVinci Resolve and you wanna learn everything about it, if it is something that you decide to use, I have a friend of mine named Daniel Battelle that makes content about DaVinci Resolve. I'll put a link to him down in the description. The second free video editing software that we have on our list is called CapCut. They have all kinds of crazy filters that you can use so that you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with your videos if you want to. You can easily remove the background so you can put text behind you and a whole bunch of other helpful things. And one more awesome thing about CapCut is they have an app. So if you don't have a computer at all, they still have you covered for free. My brother D has videos on CapCut. So if you wanna see what it can do, you wanna see how to use it, then make sure that you check out his channel. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. And one more thing, when it comes to editing your videos, once you learn how to use the software, there's a YouTube channel that you should be watching called Hellier Smith. He teaches content creators how to edit and you will become a better editor just from watching his content and applying what he says. I've also put a link to him down in the description. Now, you may or may not know that my brother Dee and I, we like to make music, but we also love to give music away. Because of that, we made a free music resource for content creators. It's called Creator Mix. At Creator Mix, you can visit the website at creatormix.com, find the music that you like, download it, and use it freely in your videos. We even have it uploaded to all the major streaming platforms, so if you wanna stream in the background while you're live streaming or something like that, you can do that too. It's also important to know because YouTube's copyright ID system is a dumpster fire, that it's important to make sure that you do download the license to use the music in the footer so that in the event that you do run into any problems at all, you can easily dispute it without fear. Next, if you wanna add captions to your YouTube shorts, you can upload them to Opus Clips captioning tool for free. Technically, you can also upload 16 by nine videos there for free as long as they are under two minutes long. To use Opus Captions, all you have to do is drag your video that's under two minutes into the box that you see right here. Opus Clip is gonna take care of the rest from there and then download it and now you got a short video with captions on it for free. You wanna make your voice sound better for free? There's a tool for that, it's called Audacity. Inside of Audacity, you can take away background noise, you can add an equalizer to your voice to make it all just sound a little bit better. So for example, this is my voice without any processing. This is my voice with processing, just to show you the example. Since you also have to make thumbnails for your videos, you might as well do it for free. For this, you can use Tube Spanner, which will give you three free thumbnails per month, and you can also use Canva, which also has free thumbnails as well. Both options have templates that you can use so that you don't have to start from scratch. So if you've never made a thumbnail before or you're just struggling with your thumbnails and you think they suck, they give you a great place to start by using their templates. So some content creators make videos where they specifically target YouTube search, which means that they want their videos to show up when people are actively looking for them on YouTube through the search bar. For this, there's a tool that will help you out called TubeBuddy that has SEO or search engine optimization features and you get three results in each category. Now look, with this, it is a little bit limited because it is free, but it's free, so if you need this, then you can use it. TubeBuddy also has a ton of helpful tools that will help you with your YouTube channel, so make sure that you do check this one out. It's kind of one of those priority tools that every content creator should have. Now for the next one I'm gonna tell you about, you know how when you go to somebody's channel page on YouTube or you go to their bio over on TikTok or on Instagram or on Twitter and they have a link and when you go to that link, it shows all of the links that that person has, well, I'm gonna tell you where you can get one for free. And I swear this video is not a commercial for this, it just happens to have a lot of great free tools that you can use to help you get started. It's called Tube Spanner. With their social bio tool, you can add custom backgrounds to it and you can put as many links as you want 
all for free. This is a great way to interlink your social media accounts. Now, if you're somebody that live streams or you're interested in live streaming or giving it a shot, then in that particular case, there's a really easy to use tool called StreamYard that allows you to add graphics to your screen. It allows you to invite guests on with like one or two clicks. They even record your streams in the background so you don't need a strong computer to use it. And you can download those and then you can upload them into Opus Clip, for example, and you can repurpose that content. But keep in mind, the repurposing part of Opus Clip is not a free plan. But the basic StreamYard plan that will get you started is free. You know, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but my continuity in this video is all over the place. Next, if you want to write scripts for your videos, you can use your Google account and use your Google Docs that are inside of your Google account. But if you want some help and you want to have AI do some of the heavy lifting for you, but still be able to customize things in the way that you want, then in that particular case, Tube Spanner's got you covered there too. But it comes with a free limit of three scripts per month. If it's a paid user, then in that case, they're unlimited. If you wanna stay on top of trends globally and within your niche, then you can use trends.google.com and you can get just a huge amount of insights from the information that they give you there. For example, you can compare different ways that people might be looking for the type of content that you make or a subject that you're going to talk about. If you scroll down the page, once the topic's in there, you can look for any breakout events so that you can hop on a trend as it's actually happening. It's really cool. And depending on your content type, this particular tool by itself could be a game changer for you and your content. Now, if you're looking for more tools, I've made videos about AI tools and other YouTube tools as well, you can check those out by clicking into this playlist right here. So go ahead and click on that now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you over there.